Sang So, look at what you did to Jesse. Look at what you did to Jesse's face. Look at how much you've hurt him, Sang So. It's January. You thought new hardware season was over? Think again, Timmy. There's two new 3x3s on the scene. Cubicle's got us covered. We're looking at some Sengso, Sengso, Shengsho thing. We'll find out. And some Diansheng. I'll tell you what, it's Sengso versus Diansheng. The title of the video is which one is trash? Let me know in the comments right now before we've even gone in. Which one's the trash? Is it Sengso or is it Diansheng? Let's get into it, shall we? Hey everyone, this is Phil. Welcome Whoa, back Phil. to the Cubicle. Watch your volume, in brother. 2023. Woo. We never say anything bad about anything. Zing. Hey, so Yu Feng 3x3. Seng So Yu Feng 3x3. 1999. Hold up. Price check. $20 US is $31 New Zealand. It's 16 pounds and it's uh, 28 Australian dollars. Gentron Solar, $12.99. Price check. 20 New Zealand dollars. It's 10 British pounds. It's 18.6 Australian dollars. Kind of looks like the Gen 11. That box is a very, very shiny boy. Well done. Let's get into them, Phil. Let's do this. I'm going to go with the more expensive one first. Actually, no. Let's, Come on, let's Phil. Try the Gentron Solar. Sometimes Sometimes I give cubes a hard time if they're like another version of a previous one. Phil, you always give cubes a hard time. Can't get enough of Uncle Phil ripping on trash. That's what we want to see. Previous solar was actually kind of bad. Has Tian Cheng made a good cube though? Like, have they? I got some samples of the two by twos and they were a bit wah wah. Who uses a Tian Cheng cube? I don't know. Do you use a Tian Cheng? Let me know in the comments. Do you use a Tian Cheng? Plastic is glossy, which is. That is a shiny boy, isn't it? Always great. That is always great. Thank you, Phil. It's quite it's unique looking, isn't it? Quite unique in the cuts and the old Florians there, eh? Sounds glossy. But then What's there going is on in other... there? Should I try turning it? <gasps> Look at Phil's face. <laughs> that is. <It> was a... <laughs> <laughs> I don't need I don't need a cube that plays a song, but I want a cube that plays a song. Will the pitch change if he changes the settings? Because that would be cool. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, here's my prediction. He loves this one. I'll tell you why I think he loves this one. One, it plays a little note. That's very cool. Two, he's done some turns and he hasn't immediately binned it, you know? I think we're onto a winner. Just elasticity. Which means if one is trash, it might be the same show. Let's find out. Does not compare well against the RS3 Super. I think the RS3... Nothing compares well against the RS3 Super. It's a ripper. I don't really know, in the grand scheme of things for the consumer, why this product exists. Like all Dian Chen cubes? <laughs> It's now their best budget cube. Well, maybe this is the year Jian Sheng finds themselves. Maybe this is Jian Sheng's year, everyone. Jian Sheng out here making Uncle Phil's dreams come true. Thanks, Jian Sheng. Come on then, let's see a solve. Sub 10, straight out the gate. Let's see it. Okay, not. 10. Not. Whoa, Phil just got a package from Amazon. You wanna try this? Oh, uh, who's coming up? Who is it? Yay, yeah, oh, it's Jesse. J Jesse's gonna pull out a ripper, watch this. Ooh, oh big God, lock. Wait, what? I use, oh my god, you use a boomer G-perm. A boomer G-perm? I'm gonna consider that a shout out. I've also. updated two of my G-perms. I know G-perms, I've never thought to update them, but you know. <laughs> that's why I'm not making videos at the cubicle, everyone. Jesse's on. Yeah, nice. buddy. Try Phil's gonna try and beat that. <laughs> not today, Philip. Phil's just been burned by Jesse and is now hating on the cube. Coincidence? Just just take that out, let, let, let Jesse have this one, all right? He got ya. This cube is good for a Diancheng economy cube. Oh. Oof, it's good for a Dian Cheng. Oof. Like, it doesn't make me want to stop cubing immediately, like the older solar. Far out, Phil hates the solar, hey. I don't see anybody getting better times on this than the RS3M 2020. Again, why you exist, Dian Cheng? Why you exist? Why you make cubes? Why Why do we need a company that makes really bad twos and threes and then ultra expensive magnetic eights, nines, tens? What? Ah? If I were to rate this cube, one being absolutely useless and 10 being like flagship quality, I would give this probably between a three and a four. Okay. Oh, so it's sub average. Right. What other trash have they got? Is that was that the trash? I don't know if that one was the trash. Phil was liking it. He was having a good time until Jesse spanked him with that eight. Honestly, we don't Seng have so really good expectations for this. Uh, Sengso was not released. A three by three that has actually been usable since probably like the Aurora. I don't know if I've ever tried one. I've been cubing for like six, seven years. I don't think I've ever tried a Sengso three by three, nor have I ever heard of a good one. It was a Polish cuber who used the Aurora for a while. Do you remember who that was? There was a Polish cuber who used the Sengso Aurora. You get bonus points if you can put his name in the comments. I like the logo. Things that are not important that I notice about cubes, I like the logo. But I hate that you can't take it off. Okay. <laughs> Look at all those bits. This was the $20 one. It has to be $20 with all those bits, right? $20. Apparently oh. it has Do we have Core magnets. No, no. No love for Sengso around here. Uh, that's a bad, oh, listen to it. That's 
foul. You know what? This that sounded me of? disgusting. Like op- Sometimes you like want to make a turn, and just, the cube is just doesn't want to. Let's take this. <laughs> oh, it sounds so gross. Yeah. Oh, to be fair, that's not a sign of a crappy cube, though, because the GAN 13 caps, if you try taking them off, they're like, yeah, nah, bro. So it's a very simple centerpiece. It's very thin and doesn't have a skirt. Uh, skirt? Feels really tight. That's it does look super lowest. tight. It feels like there's no room for more compressed. Right? That's wild. That's on the loosest com- so That's on the loosest setting, and it Six. still looks so tight. Oh. He's cranking it up. Oh, you know what? I think one is the tightest. Oh, okay, we got it backwards. Right. It doesn't look terrible, just from, just from the video. Like, it doesn't look absolutely awful, but that's it's, that's the problem with watching people review cubes on a video, right? Until you're actually holding it and turning it, you have no idea. Wow, what a good demonstration of the futility of this entire medium, Mike. No worries, brother, I got you. What is happening? Is that corner even gonna cube? come out? What the heck? Uh huh. It has a oh, magnetic that's a lot of core magnets that connects to these, and then it has magnets in here that connect to these. Whoa, that's so inside. many magnets. Oh my- I'm getting flashbacks to like the MS cubes. Speaking of cubes we didn't need, <laughs> the MS ones, not the Chi MS, the MS brand. There are so many magnets in here. Where is there on the cube with no magnets? Look at how bad this construction is. Oh, uh, that's that? gross. There's, There's huge like gaps between the pieces. Can't close. Just an observation, not to do with the gaps, but I like how when, when Gan releases a cube with, with more magnets, we're like, yay, more more magnets. But then when another company has the audacity to release a cube with heaps of magnets in, we're just like, hey, who do you think you are? Do you think you can? Relax, Shangshou. Oh my God. Wait, hold on. Wait, what's he found now? This is supposed to be a straight line, right? Yeah, this. those are some crappy moldings. It's 20 US dollars. What did I say that was? 31 New Zealand dollars. It's 16 pounds. It's 28. It's nearly, nearly 30 Australian dollars at the moment. The fundamental construction of the cube is sloppy. Th- and that's long. a big F when they can't even just make yeah, the it doesn't pieces, feel very good. Right? Not all the- Kind of feels like... Okay, so I love the RS3M 2022. Obviously, the Super RS3M. The ball core, I haven't played with it properly yet. But from first impressions, I was just like, why? Why have you jammed all this stuff in here if it doesn't really make it feel any better? The standard's so good. Basically, this this cube is one of those cubes that makes me not want a cube. Like- oh, 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 that's so harsh. If I were to rate this one from 1 to 10, it would either be a 1 or a 1.5. 1 or 1.5 out of 10. Ouch. Is this is devastating. Tech, oh my god. Yeah, Sang- say, but- if Sangsar were watching this, they're just like, they're in bits right now. If Sang- Sangsar, Sangsar designers are just like, I'm out. I quit. Oh, it looks so nasty. It just will not turn. Oh, oh, look at Jesse's face. Look at Jesse's face here. Oh, oh, look, look at how much you've hurt him. Sangso, look at what you did to Jesse. Look at what you did to Jesse's face. Look at how much you've hurt him, Sangso. That's not okay. We're very upset with you right now. If you're getting this, just be warned that it has so there you go right it has problems there you go he's he's um he's saying i might not stock this but if you are buying it from me because i am stocking it don't buy it because it's trash that is to give you an idea of the size of the cubicle they know no one's gonna buy it but they know enough people will buy it maybe people will buy it just for the memes i don't know would you buy that one just for the memes oh speaking of memes we have a little post credit scene is he gonna put it in the tr- is he gonna put it in the bin oh a very deep burn so there we go. I'm not going to get either of those. I'm not going to stock either of those, obviously. Because when Phil says something's trash, it's trash. It's done. That's it. Game over. Remember the original RS2M? Of course not, because Phil killed it. I had them in stock, and I had to make them half price at the shop at the retail store just to get rid of them. And it still it still took ages, because just one day Phil said, nah, these are trash, and that was it. It was done. So yeah, no, don't touch them. Don't touch either of them. Well, that was fun. See you later. Bye.